car, it's a lot easier. <laughs> What's up, modern setters? Today, we're gonna move our pullets that were hatched out by our broody hen into the chicken tractor with the pullets that were hatched out in our incubator. But first, we gotta put some grain inside the automatic pig feeder and let's let them out on pasture. How you doing, piggies? I guess we better let the pigs out first, and then we'll lock them out of the pen so we can stay inside the pen without them knocking you guys over while we fill up the grain bin. You wanna go out, eat some greens? You like your greens, don't you? Come on. And we're gonna lock you guys in, otherwise the pigs are gonna try to eat you. It's just crazy, we gotta lock them out of the pen. Look, they want their feed. Oh yeah, they just about ate that all up. That looks nice. Perfect. I bet you that thing could hold at least another bag. Look at that. That's so nice. We can let the pigs back in. You guys enjoying the nice pasture? What's your favorite pot? The greens, the apples, the bugs, huh? We need to get this outdoor kitchen done so we can have a roof to park the tractor under. We have a bunch of different dog crates around the Martin homestead and they just come in so handy for moving chickens around. We have a bigger one and we go and pick up our piglets. We can put two piglets in that in the back of the truck. These crates, we can use them to move chickens. We can use them when we go to buy chickens. They're just so versatile and you can put a dog in them too if you needed to. Do you know when the best time is to join two flocks together? When you have the time to do it. We've done ours during the day before, and we've done ours at night before. And we've always had good success. There's always gonna be a pecking order issue. No matter what time of the day you join your two flocks together, the best time is when you have the time to do it. And right now, we have the time. We gotta get these pullets out of this chicken tractor, so next week we can put our heritage meat birds out here. I wanted to get this lady first because sometimes she can get pretty fierce.
so I don't know what it is, but one of the other pullets in the other tractor has a funky hairdo like this lady too. It must all come from the same mother. They're pretty wild looking, aren't they? It almost looks like an Icelandic chicken characteristic. Oh, girl, you're okay. You're good, girl. You're fine. There you go. There you go. See, you're fine, Pluto. Oh, you're okay. Put you in with your friends. Bring you to a better place. All right, last one. Sometimes this one can be the hardest. Let's check our chicken catching skills. Yeah, think like a chicken. Think like a chicken. Anticipate their next move. Bada boom, bada bing. Just like that, we got her. Hey, hey. You're fine. We're not hurting you. See? Yeah, you're good. Oh. Hey. We're not hurting her. She's just more scared than anything. There you go. Better shut that door. Let's let them out and see what they do. See, they're already intermingling. The silky hen's already scratching and, oh, little pecking order going on. Chicken ninja style. Whoop. You got the stare down going on. She's telling them all she's boss. No matter when you introduce your flocks, you're always going to have the pecking order getting readjusted. If you do it at night, they're just going to do it when they wake up in the morning. If you do it during the day, they're going to do it when you let them in. Don't worry, it'll be fine. We've done this a few times, and either time, it's always worked out. We haven't found one way works better than the other. Let's move the chicken tractor now and give these ladies something to do.
See, now they're too busy looking for bugs and fresh grass and they ought to pick on each other. Let's go collect some eggs, it's shut off. There, we don't want to get zapped. Look at all those beautiful eggs. Thank you, ladies. Talk about some nice, clean, pasture raised organic eggs. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Turn the fence back on. Lights flashing green. We're good. All the chickens are in there eating grass nicely. We really enjoy interacting with you guys down in the comments. We love all the stories you share with us. You guys tell us we're encouraging you. You sharing all your stories with us really encourages us too, and I wanted to thank you for that. So keep them coming. We really enjoy reading them, and we enjoy interacting with you guys. We would really love to know what do you love about Lumna Acres, and what would you like to see more in the videos? Leave it in the comments down below. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It's really helping the channel grow. We just hit 8,000 subscribers. We wanted to thank all you modern steaders for that. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.